cruiserweight champion. We have more live action coming up right now, though. It's the unbeaten cruiserweight, uh, Kelly Oliver from Lincoln. Uh, a rematch against Tony Booth. Let's join our MC now, Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest of the evening is a cruiserweight contest of six three-minute rounds between introducing in the red corner, uh, coming from Leeds, weighed in at 13 stone, five pound, has had 66 professional contests, 22 wins, six by way of KO, with 38 losses and six draws. Would you welcome, please, Tony Booth. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the purple colour trunks, the colours of the Bristol boys, coming from Lincoln, four times ABA champion with a professional record, undefeated in six contests, three wins coming by way of KO, scaled in at 13 stone, nine and a half pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Oliver. The referee for this contest, Mr. Terry O'Connor. This is six three-minute rounds. So Kelly well. Oliver, unbeaten in six contests so far, and Tony Booth has had 60 more professional bouts than that from Hull. Now these two met as recently as last September, and Oliver won in two rounds on that occasion. So why are they fighting again? Well, because Tony Booth believes he was punched on the back of the head that night, which said, he said it disorientated him. He wanted another crack at Kelly Oliver. He's got another crack. Will he do any better? Booth is the one in the white trunks, the journeyman from Hull, 26. Oliver, the up and comer, 24. And uh, he believes he's really going places in this cruiserweight division this year. Already talk of a possible shot at Chris Oko, the Commonwealth champion, somewhere down the line. Oliver, a four-time ABA champion in consecutive years as well. That was at light heavyweight. This is one division up at Cruiser. Looked quite good so far, hasn't he? He has looked good. He, he was impressive when he stopped Booth the last time, and you would feel that you know, he, he should be able to do it again. It's often difficult boxing somebody the second time when you had a good a good result against them the first time because maybe some psych psychology you just don't try as hard but he's certainly he's doing nothing wrong at this moment Kelly Oliver Oliver who comes from Lincoln which uh, without being too unfair to that rather nice city is not really renowned as a boxing base Oliver could change that of course Oliver weighing four and a half pounds more than Booth here. Oliver hitting the scales at 13 stone, nine and a half pounds, which is one and a half pounds above the usual cruiserweight limit. He'd have no trouble getting inside if it was a championship contest, I'm sure. Mixing up the punches quite well there. I'm sure Booth feels he has a point to prove here. Yes, I would, I would think he, he feels that. He also, he knows the strength of Kelly Oliver now, so you think he would have, would have prepared very well for this fight. Some decent body shots going in from Kelly Oliver in this opening round. He's one of the big hopes of Chris Sanagar's Bristol camp. the rib cage it's the body punches that are working best for Oliver in this opening round as Booth trying to keep his hands up very tight and Oliver doing the right thing going down to the body to try and bring them hands down Booth being made to look a little crude by comparison well, Booth cagely trying to fight back amongst that blow but got caught with a, a good left hook for his trouble Oliver's round in what some might see as a bit of a hiding to nothing fight for him. Welcome back to Swaddling Coat in Derbyshire where Neville Brown has successfully retained 
his British middleweight title tonight in a bit of a four-round thriller with Willie Quinn. Live in the ring at the moment, the cruiserweight prospect, Kelly Oliver, there he is on the far side in the uh, purple trunks, up against Tony Booth, who he beat in the second round when they fought four months ago. Will we have a repeat here? This is round two. Booth doing a bit of talking to Oliver in there. Booth actually lasted six rounds with uh, Neville Brown, who we've just seen retaining his British title down at middleweight. In his last fight, they put him in with the British light heavyweight champion Crawford Ashley, and he lost in the first round, Booth, and was on the floor four times. Mind you, Ashley is a big, big hitter. doing the right thing he's boxing his way and putting his combinations together well and he's just softening Booth up a bit Booth there just losing his temper almost for a moment there he felt he was being held inside something he didn't like he's talking again to Oliver seems to be a bit of a grudge between these two yes they just seem that way obviously he took this fight for that reason he feels he was he was maybe stopped with a foul and he's, he's getting a little bit infuriated at, at some of the tactics, although Oliver doesn't seem to be doing that much wrong. Again, two decent left hands to the body from Oliver. Just trying to soften Booth up to the belly. <laughs> Oliver has a confident look about him. Good athletic build too for a cruiserweight. Now <laughs> Booth fighting his way out of that corner with some purpose. And you wouldn't really want Oliver to get involved in the brawl here. Just keep it nice and clean. He's been throwing nice combinations to head and body, and he really just needs to keep doing that. Left hand was a bit low from Oliver. Favouring those hooks to the body, and uppercuts up through the middle like that. Can be a tough old character though, Tony Booth. Fight number 67 for him. 